Uh, the National Leader, Simon Bridges, says he doesn't support an inquiry into EQC and the new Minister, Megan Woods. As I said to her a minute or two ago, should stop playing a blame game and get down to business. Mr Brownlee refused to be interviewed by me yesterday or today or provide us with a statement. National Leader Simon Bridges also declined to be interviewed yesterday, but this afternoon when asked by our reporter Conan Young in Christchurch about the $160 million re-repair blowout that we identified last night, and remember that figure's gone up to $270 million, he said his government had done a good job and an inquiry into EQC was unnecessary. Well, look, obviously it's all money, so I don't want to be flippant about that, um, you know, uh, Obviously, you know, the smaller it is, the less cost there is involved in that. You know, ultimately, though, I think what you've got to say about EQC is it's a system that um, is, is working. You know, of the, uh, the massive number of claims here, most of us have been settled, and we're down to the hardest core of them around second repairs, third repairs, and those sort of issues. So ultimately, whether it was the 60, 70 um, uh, uh, million that had originally been predicted, whether it's 160, 170 million now or even more, the cost level with insurance is the cost and it will just need to be uh, p paid out. It could grow larger though, couldn't it? Because that figure doesn't include cash payouts, which have actually made up the majority of settlements more recently. I mean, have you had any advice on, on how far it could actually go? I, I, I haven't, but I think what you're saying is fair. You don't think we know um, at the moment. I come back to it, I think, in relation to EQC. It's a system, by and large, has been good. Yep. There will always be issues with difficult searches circumstances like this. We're down now to the, the hardest ones, but it's important that there is a process that people can follow um, and go through uh, with EQC, and so they will be resolved ultimately, uh, whatever the cost. I am concerned. I think Megan Woods, you know, has stuck really to being an opposition policy, a politician, I should say, in this area. You know, she had very clear views in opposition. Now she's the government minister. You know, I would argue she should just get on with the job here, um, just as we would have, and stop trying to find blame in all of this. From our perspective in opposition, I've, I've already made clear our views on EQ soon by and large working well, but if there are tweaks that are needed, if there are things that need to, to, to be done here, we want to work constructively with the government on these issues and put, you know, I suppose, the politics to one side because, you know, Canterbury deserves it. But it's more than just a tweak, isn't it? I mean, 160 million, and you know, possibly going to grow as well. I mean, the, the government. Oh, well, sorry, the government's really been handed a hospital pass here, hasn't it, from National? No, because I think what I'm talking about in relation to the tweaks is more in relation to the actual settings, if you like, and the rules, the regulations. I and mean, I think she's talked about an inquiry. I don't think that seems necessary. I think fundamentally what we've got here in terms of those settings are OK. But if there are tweaks, we do that. In terms of the cost, I mean, my simple point to you is, look, yeah, the prediction was it'd be less than that. We now know it's more. We can't say what the final figure is, but ultimately with insurance, the cost is the cost. And it will need to be paid out uh, according to the regime uh, that, that is in place. And EQC has done that for the vast majority. We're now down to the hardest ones. And the important thing is that there is a process that these people can go through and, and get conclusion on these issues. That's Simon Bridges speaking at a media stand-up. Uh, our reporter Conan Young was there asking the questions uh, in Christchurch earlier this afternoon.